What's up guys? Um, I just wanted to do an update video for the dumpster rental. Um, I think this is vlog number two and um, what I wanted to talk about today was pricing. So um, just to recap, so I clean out foreclosures for a living and uh, March of, of 20, that was uh, slowed down exponentially by um, COVID. So had a lot of equipment, you know, tried to diversify and just kind of get into something else. And uh, so started renting out my dumpster uh, on wheels and started doing junk removal. Um, just, you know, just hauling away for the public. Um, and I also service trash containers. Um, I don't do a lot of that, just kind of got into it. Um, started advertising a little bit on Facebook. Um, but another guy, um, which is more just into trash removal, waste management, um, just recently, I, I think he kind of copied my ad. I'm not really sure, but um, that's kind of what prompted this video uh, is just pricing. And just wanted to share my thoughts. Um, I've learned the hard way over the years about how to price jobs. And so um, the guy in particular, um, he has, so he has a trash business and um just looking at his prices it's like you know a residential container and a commercial container you know those range anywhere from four to like usually 10 yards um and with what the guy's advertising so i had put out an ad um you know if you wanted your I think I said residential container and your commercial container emptied. We could transfer that into our dump trailer and then we could haul it off for you. And, you know, I didn't put out a price. It's just every one of them, you know, is kind of unique. Um, so I will actually come out and give you a price. He just said across the board, $90 um, to unload your container. And I, I've received several calls about these containers and there is probably more of them than none that I've looked at that you can't dump at the transfer station for what the guy's advertising. Like he's not going to make any money. Um, he will ha he will either have to make a change pretty quick, or um, he's going to go out of business before he really even gets started. So I just wanted to encourage people don't cut the bottom out of your price just to get a customer. Um, I have been so guilty over the years, you know, of doing that. It's got to be worth your time. It's got to be worth the wear and tear on your vehicle. Um, and, and not everybody is your customer. I know that everybody says that, but it is so true. Not everybody is your customer. So, Price it fair, but price it where you can make money. Whether you're hauling junk, whether you're hauling construction debris, whether you're hauling trash, you know, or waste management, you have to price it to where it's profitable. And, and if you're just undercutting the price to get customers, that's not building a business. If, if, if you really want to be self-employed and if you really want to do it for a living, don't cut your prices. If you offer a good service and you're honest and you are, you know, ethical, you know, when you charge a fair price, the business will come. Um, I, I just, I have seen it over and over again. When you treat, you know, people want to pay you for a job well done. You know, they, they don't mind to pay for, you know, a service that is done correctly. They don't mind to pay when they trust you um, and when you have that great relationship. So don't undercut your prices. Just make a profit, be reasonable. Um, but I just, this guy that I am talking about, 
I don't think that he is going to make it very long um, in the hauling business or trash removal. Um, you know, and so he can just keep copying my ads and all of that. That's that's cool. Um, don't cut your prices. Charge a fair, reasonable price. Do a good job. Show up and be honest. The business will come. So um, as far as this week, I uh, we have got a gutter company that has got a lot of trash at their warehouse. I'll be hauling that away. Um... I've got a couple of residential containers to empty. I just cleaned out a foreclosure yesterday and I should have got some video of that, but um, I'm gonna try to make more of these and, and just, um, you know, any comments, any feedback is appreciated. Uh, I just wanna help people that wanna work for themselves and, um, you know, anybody that, you know, anybody can be their own boss. You just have to try it. And so I quit a job after 15 years, um, you know, to clean foreclosures for a living. And that kind of got slow, so we just had to adapt. And so that'll eventually come back. And I'm going to do haulaways and junk removals in the meantime. And, um, and I just, I have a passion for wanting other people that want to work for themselves to succeed. Um, so any advice, you know, or anything that I could do to help somebody, um, I don't know. I just, I just like to do that. So, um, feel free to comment with any questions or, um, if there's anything that you would like for me to talk about, uh, just feel free and I'll try to come back later on this week, um, with another video on hauling away and dumpster rental until then really appreciate it.